Americans were bought, giving money uh, to do what's wrong, to dwarf the protest um, being done by their friends. I'm giving you time to get your paper and pen ready. And um, this article was uh, written at um, WashingtonTimes.com. You go to WashingtonTimes.com. It says, uh, U.S. ignores small African terror group, IPOB. Um, the article is at um, www.WashingtonTimes.com News, 2021, October 4. The professor's name is Ivan Daska Shehan. Ivan Daska. D-A-S-C-H-A, Sheehan. You go there, you read uh, what she wrote, or what she wrote. Wherever they got the information from, I don't know. And uh, this is when we, dear friends, will go to University of Baltimore, Maryland, to demand his sources or her sources of information. Um, you can email your complaint to president at ubalt.edu. Email your complaint to president at ubalt.edu. The article is uh, U.S. ignores small African terrorist group, IPOB, at its peril. That's what uh, that um, professor uh, wrote in the article. Wherever that professor got the information from, I don't know. The U.S. knows about IPOB. It's not a terrorist organization. The world knows. IPOB is not a terrorist organization. Wherever this professor got the information from, you know he has been paid to write rubbish. And um, you can call Joan Case. I told you to get your paper and pen ready. Joan Case, special assistant to the president of the University of Baltimore. Joan Case. J O A N N E, then case K E S S. That's the special assistant to the president of University of Baltimore. The number is 410-837-4866. The number is 410-837. 4866. And then um, the administrative assistant to the president of the university, Elizabeth Epps. E L I Z A B E T H. Epps. E P P S. The number is 410 837 Tell them you want to file a complaint about a faculty member named Ivan Saska Sheehan. I've told you you can uh, make the complaint to the president at ubalt.educ. That is edu. Um, this is the article this man wrote or this lady wrote. And I will bring out uh, our outline um, um, misinformation. This is the Washington Times. Um, the State Department needs to designate indigenous people of Biafra as a foreign terrorist organization. Um, this is what he's writing. An African terrorist organization is suing. Now, this is this is, this is the battle against you. Okay, because you complained 
they are using this man to attack you. Okay, this is the complaint that made this man write what he wrote. Then this this is his grudge. Uh, because you made a complaint, after all, why will you make a complaint? You are a terrorist organization. That's, that's his motive. Um, that's his conclusion. Who gave, who gave you the right to uh, complain? Who gave you the right to express your dis, uh, dissatisfaction with the arming of terrorist group, world-known terrorist organization, getting 12 Tokano jets to kill Christians? And this is what this man wrote. And he closes his analysis, uh, analyst opinion. An African terrorist organization is suing U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin in U.S. Federal Court. It beggars belief. insulting to injury. So how did it happen? I'm quoting him. The answer is frustratingly simple. The violent secessionist group in question, the indigenous people of Biafra, is yet to be designated a foreign terrorist organization by U.S. Department of State. This is despite repeated pleas to do so by long-standing U.S. ally, Nigeria. where IPOB is based and carries out its murderous activities. This demands demonstration. This demands carpeting him or her. It is um, difficult to explain how U.S. interests are served by inaction and complacency on IPOB. The listing costs nothing, but the designation will have significant implications for the group's continuance. Let's start with the obvious. Tagging the group with a terror label will hit IPOB's wallet harder. This is conspiracy in the first degree. This is what they are planning. For IPOB. As soon as the designation is applied, no organization that utilizes U.S. currency will be able to legally conduct transactions with the organization. By cutting off IPOB's funding, the U.S. will weaken the 50,000-strong paramilitary outfit and provide Nigeria's security forces room to train their sites squarely on ISIS, affiliated Boko Haram in northeast of the country. Counter-terrorism operations against Boko Haram have been long been assisted by U.S. agencies working close coordination with the West African government. Though IPOB may appear to be Abuja's problem, <coughs> excuse me, alone, the militants have served as a distraction and bled precious resources over the past 18 months, Boko Haram has regrettably been able to regroup and rejuvenate. The same is true of Al-Qaeda affiliate groups. But uh, Nam Dekano, IPO builder, is clearly unconcerned. Now, my question is, where did this guy come from? Where is he getting his information? The, uh, the, the information is everywhere. Disseminating false information. And this is where I say Bruce Fan need to come in here. If it means suing him, let him prove his allegations. Let him prove it. Let the writer, if his university of if 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 if, if that professor is writing on behalf of a uh, University of uh, Baltimore, let it be. Let let's don't watch, what, what, let's know what this guy is talking about. Because we are strong. Because we are headed somewhere. 
We want to be free. And his name denotes what I think he is. IPOB, that your confusion must stop. They, are, they, they, they have hands everywhere. All these people, they are killing all over. Boko Haram is there since Buhari has been in office. IPOB did not attack anybody. IPOB did not kill anybody. They are killing. This is why they are killing and then pointing fingers at IPOB. Now you see it. Now you see their plans. Now you see all they have been planning. Oh, once U.S. designates IPOB, this is all they have been planning. And we have been telling them we don't want to pick up arms. ESN is formed to flush out your supported terrorists, Shehan. You, you, your supporters, the Boko Haram, we are flushing out from our forests. They are raping women, killing pregnant women. But you're so blind to see that. And you put information that uh, does not exist. It's a shame that the uh, University of Baltimore will return such a professor that is tied to terrorist organization to write this without without accurate information. Cattle has men have been raped, blood everywhere in Nigeria by Boko Haram, by cattle has men, by ISIS West Africa. They are occupying chunk of land. Now they are in our land. Um, fifty thousand. How does it compare to um, the Nigeria might from uh, with uh, Boko Haram, with ISIS from West Africa, and those that are in the bushes pursuing the the, the bush occupiers? The forest occupiers, you are worried. We've come to Washington so many years to demonstrate. Where were you? Did you come to question us? Did you come to find out from us? Did you make a fact-finding fact mission? No, you did not. Did you listen to ESN uh, table a complaint? No, you did not. And um, your article will be used against you. Just because your professor does not exclude um, um, Relieve you from false information. Rather, it questions your demeanor. Are you authoritatively said that more than 20 attacks were carried out in the first three months of this year alone, including the retribution-style bombing of local state government homes where four were killed and uh, an attack on prison that freed the uh, 2,000 dangerous criminals? Were they IPOB members? No. They were unknown gunmen. And you still call IPOB. And then you try to um, falsify and they enrage your uh, put fire, uh, petrol into fire by saying uh, even neighboring states were forced to impose curfew to protect their citizens from marauders. Writing garbage nonsense. It's not your writing, it is what people read. And you go further to say that there is a nasty racial element 
to IPOB attacks. In addition to attacks on the state, much of their violence is directed towards the Fulani people. What a nonsense. What a garbage. And then he goes further. Uh, through Biafra Radio, IPOB regularly calls on its supporters to not only kill the Fulani, but kill any landlord that gives accommodation or rents his house or her house to a Fulani person. In one recent attack on a Fulani community, six young children were butchered with machets. This is... Um, a homework done by Fulanese. Yeah. And your name denotes what I think you are. And this is why we will confront you. And this is why I said it's a special broadcast for Bear France in the U.S. All those uh, professors and um, MDs and you take now it's your turn. I've given you the information. You need to um, use, make that call. And go to the website www.washingtontimes.com news. That is Washington Times dot com slash news slash 2021 October slash 4 slash US ignores small African terror group you'll see it there you'll see the article there get to the Baltimore president Go to his email, president at ubalt.edu. The name of the writer, the faculty member, Ivan Saska Sheehan. Ivan Saska Sheehan, S-H-E-E-H-A-N. The complaint should be lodged to Juan Case. Special Assistant to the President of University of Baltimore. Phone number is 410-837-4866. And Elizabeth Epps, Admin Assistant to the President of University of Baltimore. Phone number is 410-837-5433. All the crimes being committed against indigents of the land um, you have a, a a very bad person in your faculty. Uh, most of you should send email, um, reduce the phone call, because this is their um, operating hour. So uh, reduce your phone call. Send mostly the email, because they are going to look at this article for what it is worth. how university can employ such dirty, uh, racist, um, hateful individuals to serve the masses. I think that this will be the beginning of his uh, mission. Why Baltimore can retain such a racist 
I think he has a full and a background. Knowing that we are being free, we are getting to be free. He is using the U.S. State Department as a backbone. And the copy of this should be sent to the a copy of this broadcast, this broadcast can be sent to the university. It can be sent to the university. We are criminals uh, claim to be innocent. Modern people. Send him a note. Let him explain this. It's happening on the plateau. And we want to let the world world know what is happening with Christians on the plateau. They say that Christians, they say that Christians, we are the indigenous of this state. And look at what is happening with us. Look at what is happening. Look at these dead bodies. How many people we are killed today. And we can no longer take it. Those that say that Christians are the cause of problems, they are lying. Look at what is happening on the plateau. And we can no longer take it. We can no longer take it. We want to show the governor, the cop of our brothers who were killed by the Muslim militias on the plateau. We can't take it. We can't take it any longer. We can't take it. We can't take it any longer. Why? Why? We can no longer take it. We can't take it. The governor must see it. Unless President Muhammad Buhari know what is happening on the plateau. Let's President Muhammad Buhari know what is happening on the plateau. We can't take it. We can't take it. Let's go. 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 We want to go and show them what is happening on the plateau. We want to go and show the governor what is happening on the plateau. If he don't know what is happening on the plateau, we want to let him know. We want the world world to know what is happening on the plateau. Let's go, let's go. 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 One sudden leadership that we have in Nigeria. Enough is enough. Where is Gal Bashew? He should tell us. Let him go back and condemn this. Where is Gal Bashew, the spokesperson of President Muhammad Buhari? Let him come out and talk. Where is Gal Bashew? Where is Gorbachev? This is the people who uh, Sheehan is supporting. This is the people Sheehan is emissary to. Terrorist groups having their hands everywhere. And you think they are professors. Now he has shown you a different side of him. He first of all said uh, the suing of the defense uh, secretary, which was correctly done. What's wrong with that? This is the way they look at you. And knowing that um, this is what you're going to confront. All those that are confused, talking jargon, running as if uh, they have the world in their hand, you have more enemies than friends. And you will stand to fight for your freedom. Say 
since 1960, their friends have been murdered. This man did not mention it. He doesn't have his facts together. And this is where our campaign is going to kick off more and more. Partnership with Nigeria. I, is he telling the world that U.S. is uh, responsible for the killing of Biafrans? Is that what Sheehan is saying? Is Sheehan telling the Americans that U.S. is sponsoring terrorists, Buhari's government? Is that what Sheehan is saying? Is Sheehan is saying that the interest of uh, U.S. is to persist the interest, the interest and freedom of uh, oppressed people, which is against the policy of the U.S.? Is that what Sheehan is saying? Is Sheehan is saying that U.S. does not have the accurate information about what is happening? Is he saying that when um, um, the ex-president Donald Trump As the real, he must stop killing Christians. Did she not hear it? He must be rolling and biting himself in the bed for Trump saying it. And these are the kind of people that will use the gun and shoot you, claiming to be a professor. For all the crimes being committed against Biafran, if this man can come and write this, you wonder who else is coming after you using the name of the State Department, acting as if he is supporting the Defense Secretary. Then later on, he unleashed his venom. Um, the Ungo people will be here in um, 12 minutes and. Um, I will open the phone line for a few calls and then um, after that the, the program will continue. I have told, I have expressed my interest for us to have a catalog for have a very detailed bro brochure about the crimes being committed against me. We, can, we cannot afford to keep the world in the dark. A detailed book of atrocities going on in, against Biafrans in the zoo. Pictures, videos, speak volume. All this, uh, we said, they said, we have the mom power to alert the world. Caller, good morning and welcome. Good morning, David Alonzo. Good morning, sir. Welcome. Yes, sir. Good morning to all dear friends. Good morning. Um, baby, I'm very proud on how we are handling this uh, situation. I understand that this uh, Shisha, Ivan Shisha um, Shihan, just uh, aired his opinion. Important the way we are taking this opinion seriously without uh, having him to back his opinion in fact. So yes, I, IPOB has a lawyer that is supposed to be representing us. We must hold this professor accountable for false um, allegations. And a professor writing information that was on Washington Post, that was on legit, without backing it up, is we must hold him accountable, one. Secondly, this Ivan, I read up about him when I, I saw the post of the Hara reporters, is married to a black woman, and they have a child together. So this black woman, is she a Fulani woman? How has Nigeria gotten in contact with this event? And who is that black woman that he's married to? 
that is probably giving wrong information that a whole professor did not research to know before he comes on board. My third opinion uh, also is the governors of the Southeast coming into America to talk about uh, sit at home. They initially came to America to kidnap our son, and, uh, and they know where our son is. So these Southeast governors, the lobbyists of Nigeria, looting our money and lobbying, and also this professor is not just a professor. He's a market. He's a uh, he, he he's a marketer, strategist. So he's he's a consultant. So his job is to sell information. In Nigeria and Britain will steal our money, and they are lobbying every firm in, in in on this planet with our money, our blood, to lie against us. So um, lastly, the sit at home that is paining this governor. You know where our son is. You know how you kidnapped him. Now you're coming to America to lobby people in the USA to, to have our people to stop sitting at home. So my message for all dear friends this morning is our lives are at stake and which I don't need to preach any gospel. We all know where we are. And they are doing all of this because something that we are doing is working. I, I would also add, and then I, I will give all that space to, to speak. Since we are not licensed to carry AK-47 to defend ourselves, we are not allowed to defend ourselves. These terrorist, eight terrorist groups are killing Biafrans in Biafran land. They will come in and shoot our husbands and our children and our sons, and we can't defend ourselves. Our only defense at this moment is to sit at home. DOS should mandate these people to remove all those thousands of military people on our land. If they don't remove them, we will sit at home until they remove them from our land. Otherwise, we cannot defend ourselves and then sit there and watch them to keep, pick our husbands and, and our sons one by one and kill all of them. And we are there looking at them. That's all I have to say this morning. They, they, thank you so much for the way you handle this uh, even Shashan uh, Chihan. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. The, um, the issue with the governors coming here to lobby was on my um, broadcast um, um, this thing today, but this one kind of overwhelmed me, so um, I left it alone. I can address that tomorrow because uh, this problem started from home. When they tried to gather and talk about sit at home. They couldn't talk about uh, the three months people were imprisoned. Call her your name and where are you calling from? Good afternoon to you, sir. Good morning from here. Good morning to you, sir, from your side. Mother, um, once again, I want to remind your friends that um, uh, some of the things that is playing out now, um, our leader said it in some of his broadcasts. Uh, when the zoo are tired, uh, the white people are going to come in, or first of all, the churches or pastors are going to come and prophesy. After then, the white people will come. Then, at the end of the day, they are going to try everything, but at the end, uh, we are going to win because we are asking for our land. The man in question that you are talking about now, please, I would like you to add the email address so we in Africa uh, can say our plight by sending an email. Um, to other people from Asia and other parts of the world can send email to that particular uh, varsity uh, to complain and ask some questions and clear the clarity of um, who this man is and who is he working for. And uh, when the uh, when I when I listened to you, you were reading up. Uh, this particular uh, post I do understand that the man is speaking for Fulani people that the point there he has been making is about Fulani people he was not speaking for any indigenous people in Nigeria just like the, the clip that you played that people were killed over 30 people were killed Plateau. I'm not sure if those people that killed those people were say they were IPOB or they were ESN in Plateau. So the man has brought his ear from what is happening in the wider zoo called Nigeria. But his thing 
is talking about Biafra land and the Fulani. So now we will, we have to toe that line, and we will leave it mostly for our American brothers and sisters. Mazi, I would recommend we go toy toy, even if it's five ten people, to the varsity and demand uh, for the man to come and speak live and tell us uh, how has he come to this conclusion of what he said. The last thing I'm going to say this afternoon, Mazi, to draw conclusion from what I've said about three days from now. Mazi, you know that our leader has been keeping IPOB still. If not because that IPOB has a structure, if not because that we are the members of IPOB with a kind of anger and venom in us, Nigeria shouldn't be existing up to today, but our leader Mazin Namdekaro has made it so, and we follow his step. And the DOS has taken over, we follow their step. Why I say this? Our people that are in IPOB and the people that are Biafrans, who are, are, are people, what have we done about it? It has been your question for the last three days. If it is left for us, people like me and people like me alike, by now, there will be a very serious problem because we are angry. And that anger of us is coming that 5 million or over 8 million of us has been killed and we have reconnected. We are back again to continue with where we stop. And the spirit of dead in, in so many of us that are not caring about what happens tomorrow. But because of the structure that we have, we cannot go against it. We have to follow it gradually. If we are out of the structure or the structure went that everyone should go and do what they need to do. As I guarantee you, not even as rock will be saved for what IPOB or what indigenous people are capable of doing in this 21st century. So let's let's bury that. That we have not done anything is because we have a structure. If it's not that, I guarantee you this afternoon that the anger and the spirit in the minds of IPOB members or the indigenous people of Biafra, remembering our people that they have killed. That would have been a very serious issue. We are caged. We are waiting. And we'll continue waiting patiently until that day. The day you. that is coming, that thank our people are preparing. Thank you, We are Marcy. going to see what is going to happen. Thank you. Let Marcy, me, thank let you me. so much for what you have been doing. And continue. As an elder, we'll follow your step. Thank you. Also. Thank you. Um, the Uber program will come at the top of the hour. And um, after that, we'll continue with the program. Uh, then I will expand on um, our topic today. So, for people that are in the U.S., I said it, it is your assignment. It is our assignment. Call her your name and where are you calling from? Call her your name and where you You don't really don't have time. You will call after the Ngwa program. You will have more time to speak. Right now, you're going to be cut short. Okay? Um, Hello? I, yeah, you're going to call after the Ngwa program because you're going to be cut short. So you won't have time to speak. So call after the program, after the Ngwa program. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to uh, cut off the line. Anybody calling should wait. And then um, let's go back to the... Um, um, the email. I will read it again. The email. Send emails to the university. President at UB alt dot edu president at ubalt dot edu for those of you uh, that are writing it down um, for your email to them. President at ubalt dot edu.
that is where you send your email. Uh, we'll stay away from the call number uh, as of now. The Washington paper, the Washington Times, uh, should also be questioned about that um, article. To permit such erroneous uh, write-up to be carried out, and they should dis withdraw it and disassociate themselves from that. <laughs>